Yeah, that was the one and only Diana Ross singing, Ain't no mountain high enough. Yeah. I just killed that number for her. <laughs> and after 40 years of blowing audiences away, she is still reaching new heights. Please welcome, we're thrilled to have Diana Ross. <laughs> your passion. What were you when you when you left, uh, when you began the Supremes? 14, 15? Oh, I think I was, yeah, about 14 or 15. So yeah. how did your family feel? Did they say you'd better finish high school? What'd you think? Uh, my dad wanted me to. My mom was, uh, my mom was my best uh, believer in everything that I wanted to do. She just was, you know, like I am with my kids. Well, I believe your in them. Your kids finish school. Yeah, my kids did finish school. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, they did. You say they came to you. But your kids were also are very talented. Did you say you're going to finish school? Uh, I, I did, yeah. yes. But I also, you know, you heard me back there. I do believe that you should have a goal, even if you change your mind. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I wouldn't say uh, don't, you know, anything. I would say have a goal, even if you change your mind. It's like a ship out of water. You can't just say don't have don't do anything because then you don't have a goal and you wander anywhere and you regret right. it but you later. should have a destination i think it should have some destination no matter what it is because then you have a direction mm -hmm. otherwise you just wander and you don't know where you're going to go well speaking of destination yes yeah. John Gotti. <laughs> okay, so you are about to go on tour, which makes people very happy. This is how it's tough to go on tour. What made you decide to jump into that water again? Well, actually, you know, out of all the things that I do, you know, I love being mom. But professionally, um, I love being on stage. I love performing. It's my God-given gift. I love to sing. I love to stand on stage and perform. And uh, so this is one of the things I love to do. So How I'm, long and where are you going? Well, I began by tomorrow. I'm in Atlantic City for the weekend, Friday and Saturday. And then I'm in Los Angeles on the 8th of November, on the 9th in San Diego. Should I go through the no, dates? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. She's going to be our chief. You're not the list. Oh, let's go. And then please find out. Then I'm in a Sa a Sacramento, then Detroit, Chicago, oh Denver. Uh, Big tour. I can't believe that you're yeah. going to go on the road all over again. Like, this is amazing. Well, this actually is the extension of a European yeah. tour. I did a very successful European tour. I'll be back on tour in America in January. And then we're going on to Japan. It's a world tour. Wow. So now, what do you do to prepare yourself for that? Okay. Because physically, that's a lot of work. You know, I've done, uh, you know, over 60 what we called albums or maybe CDs to the young uh, people. And so what the hard part is selecting the amount of songs that I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. So you select the songs, you select the costumes, you get the band and the, the crew together, which is a total of about 23 people. How many dresses? Come on down. Yeah. Yeah. How many dresses? You know I like to know that. Yeah. Well, I, I do about eight to 10 costume changes. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Ashley Simpson controversy thing that's going on about lip syncing. What do you think about all that? Well, I don't know what that is. Well, Ashley Simpson was on. Uh, <laughs> yeah. do, do, have to go do, do you have a lip, lip do sync? Do you have a lip question. sync? Well, when we first started off in, in show business, we did something called record hops, and there was lip syncing then. Nowadays, we don't do lip syncing. No, I no. don't do you it. Don't. But that's from a different. It's from a different time. So I don't know if performers. It's called the talented time. Yeah. <laughs> Now we, I sing live. We sing live with a backup band. Mm -hmm. But nowadays they do something called beats, and and it's different. The industry yeah. is a different music mm -hmm. industry today. Mm -hmm. So I think it's just different. I don't know that it needs to be compared because yeah. it's different. Right, okay. it is. You yeah. have you have five kids. 
I have five. Rhonda children. and Tracy are both actresses. Yeah. Tracy's the star of Girls. Rhonda's also yeah. singing jazz. Is oh, is Rhonda she? Ross uh -huh. and, and uh, Rodney Kendricks. Rhonda's a jazz performer. Get out. Oh. Uh, no, no, uh, no. Also, uh, your son Evan is he 16? Evan is 16. Now, Ross is he, 17. He yeah. really wants to be a performer, yeah. though, doesn't he, he? When we did our interview on Mother's Day, this little boy got up and began to sing and dance. He is adorable. Ro uh, Ron Ross has a career now. <laughs> Evan has a career. Look at him. Yes. <laughs> oh, is that Ross? Yeah. Is Evan. That dancing? That's Evan. Evan. That's Evan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do that. He is he the new star of the family? <laughs> Evan has now has a manager. He is auditioning. Really? Has been back on callbacks in Los Angeles, and he uh, is pursuing a career. And uh, he's really going to be in show business. What can mm. I say? That Evan is Ross awesome. is now and you're an happy. entrepreneur yeah. in the uh, financial oh, real estate. Yeah. He's wow. a new Night and day. Donald yeah. Trump. <laughs> 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 and uh, of course, uh, you know, um, uh, in show business also is Rhonda, uh, you also said that, but also today is Chutney's birthday. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! <laughs> It was for yeah. Mother's Day, and one of the most touching things was the way these kids feel about you. <laughs> you have had quite a life. You've had your ups and you've had your downs, and some, some things have been very difficult for you recently. What's been the highest point? What's been the lowest point of the past few years? Oh, I've had so many highest points. I think the highest points are also always having my children, raising mm -hmm. my children. Uh, you know, life is, has a lot of challenges, of course, but you know, you learn from everything and you adjust accordingly. Um, I just think, um, you know, uh, if you can learn from the things that happen in your life and if you can um, just make those things uh, help you grow and you learn from your challenges, and I have, and as you can see, I'm happy and I'm healthy and I'm strong. And, and I'm, uh, yeah. When we talk about these kids, you know what they said, you know, you hear about show business families. This woman used to fly home from almost every engagement, if she could, to be home that night to put the kids to bed and then get up the next day and go it's back true. on tour. <laughs> I mean, true. no wonder they feel Mom's the way so it is. Yeah. yeah. What do you think of the, the, well, they're not really young kids, but young performers that are out there now. So many of them who idolized you on the way up, like um, Brittany and J-Lo and Jessica, those girls. Well, you know, I really do think that uh, a lot of them are going to have some longevity. Um, some I can see, like uh, I, the other night I was at the Carousel Ball, and I must say that I just had such admiration for Beyonce. Beyonce Boy, what yeah. a what yeah. type she is! Yeah. Beautiful, wonderful person. Just yeah. beautiful, yeah. beautiful, and she was there with her mother, and I could see yeah. that she's got good foundation. Yeah. So I know that when I say have legs, she's going to be lasting and mm -hmm. be here. And those things are really important that she seems to have the mentors necessary and the background with the parents there. And also, uh, Holly Berry was there, and she said wonderful things on the stage. I heard her say things. I don't know her very well, yeah. but she said beautiful things. So I know that there are some wonderful girls in the industry that are going to be here and make me proud. Yeah. I feel like, in a sense, that I have been a trailblazer. I, oh, you know, yeah. hopefully I've you done sure and said yeah. good things. Sure and, um, and we got some good girls here. Yeah. 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 One quick question, because Star always talks about the fact that she wears different wigs, although I've seen her without the wigs and she looks pretty great. Yeah. Is that your real hair? No. Is that fair, no. Barbara? <laughs> Nobody, Nobody has. No one has. I thought of Mike, whatever it is, you're divine. You're divine. Barbara, can I tell you? You know what's rare <laughs> that when you have an idol, yeah. that the person lives up to your expectations? expectations? Yeah. You do more. Uh -huh. Well, thanks. More. Thank you so much. <laughs> You were talking about the hot topics. Yeah. I said the best facelift to me is a smile, a good night's sleep, and Diana Ross MAC co icon makeup. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Get it in me, Diana. All right. <laughs> Listen, if you can turn out looking like that, boy, <laughs> whatever it is, thank yeah. you, darling. Thank, thank you for you. being with thank us. We're so happy thank to you. see you. you. We want to tell you that Diana is going to be coming to the Beach tomorrow. Try to get to see her, we'll be right back.